Hello YouTube, our plays back once again for some more No Man's Sky and our beautiful space adventure and we're about to hit a brand new planet that's described as a lifeless planet. I've got no idea what that means, I don't know if it's going to be barren, but I figured we should check it out since that's a bit of an odd description of a planet, right? Uh, so we'll see. <laughs> it could be something cool, but it's most probably going to be a Barodia, isn't it? But we'll see, we've got to find out guys, we need to learn what all of these little descriptions mean. Oh, this is looking a bit more like your classic barren planet, isn't it? From before the update. I haven't seen one like this in a while. Oh, man, they look so good, don't they? They look, they look like just like being on the moon. High security, no flora, lacking in flora. So, yes, a lifeless planet literally means a lifeless planet, guys. There is no life on this planet. <laughs> and there's... Oh, but we have got a mission to kill some sentinels, right? Let me check. Let's check our little mission log. We've got hidden brawl. Destroy Sentinels. Let's go for it. Let's just wreck him. Let's just take him out. Quickly before he can summon reinforcements. No, quick. Oh, no. It's a high security planet. Of course he's going to have reinforcements straight away, isn't he? Chipper snapper. We got one. We got one. How many do we need for our mission? Locate Sentinels on the planetary surface. Engage Sentinels in a ground combat or harvest resources to kill Sentinels quickly. Okay, I killed them, but what now? I killed him. How many do I have to kill? Oh, I have to, I have to kill eight sentinels to get that achievement. Oh, that's actually pretty easy. We can do that. I don't, we probably don't want to do it here because this is a bit of a blur. I mean, look at it. Oh, man, look at these. So close to being lava, but it's just not lava. It would be awesome if it was actually lava. All right, I guess we're going to head to another planet then because this one turned out to be a jipper snapper. Uh, so I'll see you in a second. So I've just touched down on the moon of that planet that we were on. And it is an absolute paradise full of incredible creatures. I've literally just touched down right here. It looked like it was a toxic planet from above. It turns out it's a beautiful ocean uh, ocean paradise type land, even though it is a radioactive place. And it's got all kinds of rare creatures on it. We've got this little crab guy. The crabs are meant to be pretty rare. We've got these awesome creatures that used to be on our old home planet, uh, um, Heaven which I haven't seen in so long, and that makes me feel great to see them again after 1.3. Oh, man. We've got these cool little jipper snapper dogs. What an awesome little thing. I was not expecting this. I thought this system was a bit of a dud, and then I touched down here, and it's just covered in these awesome creatures, like all kinds of awesome creatures. Look at this. Look at this little thing. Oh, God, I never. that's like an actual scorpion type thing. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Guys, we have the best luck. I can't believe it. Oh, he's horrible. He's like some kind of weird ant creature. Ah, I don't like him. He's pretty, he's pretty gross. <laughs> Although I could get a cool picture with him with this huge planet in the background. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was cool. What? I'm so glad. Like, I was kind of thinking just ditch this planet and walk to the next one. Uh, I'm so glad I didn't because these creatures are awesome. <laughs> Look at him go. Man, that is crazy. I guess we should take a look in the ocean and see if there's anything in there. I mean, there's probably not. Um, oh, I, I killed eight sentinels back on that planet as well. Instead of leaving straight away, I decided to stay and do the mission. So next time... Oh, wow, look at this terrain. There's like a huge mound and a ridge, and then it drops into the deep ocean. Oh, that is nice. That is a nice little touch. <laughs> oh, whoa, and there's an ally cruncher thing just in the water here. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if there's any ocean creatures. It doesn't look like there's any ocean creatures in here. I can't see any. I am so dying. I am so dying. Uh, does that mean I need to... Yeah, hazard protection. We've got zinc. We should be fine. I want to head over. I want to find these nanite crunches, don't I? Of course. Where were they? Oh, here it is. I almost went past it. That would have been terrible. Uh, can I make this without drowning? I haven't got my upgraded mask thing to help me breathe underwater for longer. What a cool little moon we've landed on. <laughs> oh, gosh. Is that some sea creatures or is that birds up in the sky? Do you guys see that just over there? Oh, it's sea creatures. What the heck are these? Ugh. They look like... Uh, hold on. They look like they've got hands on their head. We're going to have to go check those out in a second. But first, I want to quickly grab these before I drown to death. Drown to death. Is that even the... That's, that's not how you would describe Ah, oh, jippers. I don't have nothing. I've got no heredium and I've got no iron. Well, no nanite crunches for me. Man, the bottom of the oceans look way more detailed at the moment. This is awesome. Let's have a little look at these cushies. These look cushies? I was going to say cushies. That's my <laughs> that's the new word I've just made up that means creatures and fishies combined. 
What the heck? They do look like they've got little hands on the top of their heads. Ugh, oh, that's kind of bizarre looking, right? What a creepazoid. <laughs> Man, what a weird little moon. Okay, let's go Let's go back on land, I think. I don't know. If it doesn't seem like there's too many. I'm sure there probably is a cooler creature in the ocean. There, there always tends to be like... Oh, there's one out there. There's a dot on its own, you see, and it's a long way away that I can see that from. So that probably is a pretty cool creature over there. But we'll never know. We'll never know, guys. We will. I'm sure we'll find out one day. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is a bit of a harsh harsh planet, though. That's the only thing. I can't believe those creatures are there from he heaven. That was awesome. I, have, I think my, my planet, my old home planet, was the only time I'd ever seen them. Uh, and now they're on here as well, which is really cool. I love how all the crabs are playing down by the beach as well. That's like such a nice little touch. What is this? He looks like a oh, you little chipper snapper. Looks like a dodo. You guys see that? Stay still. <laughs> He's like, what the heck? He's like a little ostrich thing. Stay still, you little chipper. He's so fast I can't even scan him. <laughs> we got him. We got him. <laughs> what a guy. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, these trees are cool as well. Oh, we, are, we need to get out of here, though, because we're so going to die. What a cool little distraction, though, this turned out to be. I was not expecting that at all. How many creatures are here? There's still loads to discover. I mean, that was pretty... 8 out of 11. There's still a couple more. There are st Oh, see, this one's rare. We discovered it right away. <laughs> Man, this is an awesome little moon. I guess I'm going to, like... I guess I've landed right on a little tiny island, so we can't re there's not really anywhere we can go. <laughs> <laughs> without getting in the ship because if I uh, if I fly up high just to show you where we are we're literally on like a little tiny mountain in the ocean that's it, it's just water all around us <laughs> so I don't think we're going to dis discover the remaining few creatures standing here uh, I'm going to have a little fly around I think yeah, should we go to should we go to the ship? figured we'd have one more little stop off before we left this place since it's so full of awesome creatures oh, oh we've actually found another one where's he gone? is it you? oh, 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 oh look at this little guy what a creature! <laughs> Man, this... Oh, I oh, 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 oh! Oh, wow. <laughs> How cool does this look? Oh, yes! Look at this! That glow with the little butterflies in the background looks awesome. <laughs> Man, this is, a, oh, this is such a cool little find. I've got to try and scan them. I've got to try and scan them. Was that it? I think there might only be one more creature we need to discover. We are super close. Oh, no. 7 out of 13. Why do I think they're only 11? Ah, that's weird. Anyone? Oh, you're not scanned, huh? Oh, this guy looks cool as well. All the creatures. He looks like a hyena. All the creatures here are so cool. This is awesome. Who are you? Are you... Oh, no. Who killed... Wait, are you a killer? Did you murder somebody? He's a grazing... Oh, but he's defensive. Oh. This, hey, whoa, he's really defensive. All right, Chipper. Hold it. Hold up. Hold up. Calm your horses. Come on. Come on. We're friends. We're all friends here. Ha, ha, ha. Except me and you. <laughs> We're not friends. Fool. Where's my ship? Where's my ship? Man, this planet is so harsh but so beautiful. Oh, I've got to get another little look at those butterflies if they're still there. How cool is this right here? And that looks like some crazy, awesome sci-fi artwork right there with the big planet in the background. Oh, man, that is beautiful. <laughs> Alright, guys, we probably should go to the next one. So I'll pause it here and I'll catch you in the next planet. Okay, we're back and we're straight into the action because we have been targeted by hostile ships. And this time there's more than one of them, guys. I can't see any possible way that we can win this because my missile thing is also down. I don't have my missiles right now. It's going to be super, super tough to survive. I don't know if we're going to do it. <laughs> I have to be honest. But we got to give it a go, right? We have to try. There's, there's nothing else we can do. Uh, we have got quite a bit of fuel. I guess that's like the one saving grace. Uh, and I can kind of like get iron as I go, maybe. I don't know if that's a good tactic or not. Uh, I feel like if I had my missiles, I'd be in a much better shape right now. I might even not even be scared if I had my missiles. Because we're, we're doing pretty well. I seem to not be as bad as I thought I was going to be in the fighting. Oh, can we get a picture of him? Yes! Yes! Oh, that's cool as hell. <laughs> Our first, like, proper action shot of a com of combat 
in space. And it's a pretty cool one, if you ask me, guys. Oh, nice. Let's see if we can take out this balloon chip and snap us. Oh, we're out of we're out of stuff. We're out of missile poppers. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, these are quite big ships, so they're pretty easy to hit. <laughs> I think we can do this. I think we've got every every chance in the world, guys. I am taking him down. I took them both out. Absolutely destroyed them. Attack ships defeated. I've got no free slots in my inventory, which is super annoying. Uh, because we probably would get some cool loot. Is there anything I can... Yes, 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 yes. Uh, gold, there's only 20. We can get rid of that. Uh, formium, can I put that over there? No. I have got some slots. i got slots. Give me my treasure. Oh, my standing with the Viking has gone up. That's pretty cool. Uh, where is that treasure? Is it still floating around? I wonder if we take a little hop in... Guys, that was, like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I can never, ever fight in this game. You guys know that. You guys know that better than anyone. <laughs> but now the update, I don't know. It just seems, I think I'm enjoying it a lot more, the fighting. So I kind of want to try and actually fight. Uh, whereas before, I always try to run away. Uh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe now that I actually stand up for myself and fight back, we're doing okay. There's a moral of, there's a moral of the story somewhere, guys. <laughs> stand up for yourself. Stand up for what you believe in. Fight for your life, I guess. <laughs> okay, we're back. We've warped again. So that's our five warp little achievement there. Uh, this planet, this was, I was getting worried. I'd only seen blue systems. I was thinking maybe they took out all the cool colors. But no, we are in a beautiful, beautiful deep red system right now that looks absolutely incredible. We've got a couple of planets here, so let's have a little scan. See if there's anything that's coming up that like makes us go, yes. We've got a freezing planet, which will probably look cool. Probably have some cool trees and animals. We've got this from here. It looks really cool, but I don't know what kind of planet that's going to be. We need to go to a space station. Uh, what is this? Is that an anomaly? Oh, I think that is an anomaly, right? Let's go to that. Is that an anomaly? This is an anomaly, right? That's what this is, I think. <laughs> it's been a while. It's definitely an anomaly. I don't ignore me. It definitely is. Uh, oh, that is the entrance. Yeah. Okay, that, we're having some luck here, guys. <laughs> I thought I still had a few to go before I found one, and I found one straight away because this is the next part of our quest as well. I think it is. Anyway, let's have a check. It says, uh, where are we? We want, we want, is it guide we want? No, it's log. Uh, yeah, the space anomaly. Explore for Na Nada and Polo. Huh. And we've completed a mission, so when we go to the space station, I can go hand that in and we hopefully get some money or some blueprints. Man, this place looks so cool. The new textures. Oh, <laughs> look at it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, I love this game so much. All right, let's go see what this guy has to say. Our first ever time speaking to Nada. Is it traveler? Is it first or last? Pleasure regardless. I am Priest Entity Nada, Divergent Corvax, but entities must keep secrets, yes? Hmm. The electronic being stares at me from their dark mask. I cannot escape the feeling that we have somehow met before. <laughs> That's very fitting. The entire station sings with a strange and unnerving frequency. Nada tells me that we stand in a place between worlds, in the heart of the anomaly. They can guide me towards the will of the Atlas. They offer to show me the way to the galactic core. Or, if I should so wish, they can provide resources for my journey. The choice is mine. For now, we're going to stick to the path of the Atlas. Uh, just because I think that's going to help us on the story stuff. Maybe, possibly, I don't know for sure. That's the feeling I've got, and I definitely want to get into the story side of it. Uh, so we're going to keep doing that for now. Uh, later on, we'll probably go for resources, because you guys know. I love me some loot. Come on, Polo. It's been a while, old buddy, old pal. Friends everywhere, if only you knew where to look. Friends in all shapes, all sizes, all places. <laughs> I don't know why, but I expected that to go like a uh, Dr. Zeus novel. <laughs> like somehow it would rhyme. Uh, the Gek wipes their grease-splattered hands on their suit as they address me. They introduce themselves as Specialist Polo, Fugitive of the Gek. They tell me they gave up trade units and all material possession to flee into an anomaly outside of time and space with a robotic priest. Uh, what a story that is to tell the grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> they have a jocular air about them, all things considered. <laughs> they are curious about my travels, about what sentient species I have seen. They do not get out much these days. Uh, yeah, let's transmit all of our data. Polo pours over the data, muttering bitter bitterly at variations they are already familiar with, cheering at those they are not. Finally, Polo applauds wildly and hands me a blueprint. They claim that we are now bonded in glorious friendship. We made a friend! Woo! Oh, 
yes, we can make ourselves an Atlas Pass. Atlas Pass. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I'm far too excited about that. Uh, but we can do it. We can do it right now. So I'm going to do it right now. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Let's craft ourselves the old, good old Atlas Pass. And they look so cool. I'm still hoping I get my Atlas V4 Pass in the post, guys. If I, if I do get one, you guys will definitely be, like, very... The first people to know about it. Let's see what we got in here today. <gasps> Uh, it looks a bit. It looks cool, but it looks a bit stubby. Fifteen slots is definitely better than what we've got, but it's a little bit, just an eensy tiny bit out of our price range, you know. <laughs> oh, look at that—the terrain manipulator, manipulator, even manipulator. What the heck? <laughs> just to tease me, just to like rub it in my face that I don't have one. Well, see you later, guys. Oh, hold on. This does this door do anything now? <gasps> oh my gosh! This door never opened for me before. What the heck is this? I've got to get a picture of this. What is happening here? This door never opened before. This was a complete secret. What the heck? I'm going to do it. Let's do it. Let's go for it. User identified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data log for analysis. The machine is ancient and powerful. A relic of a world long since destroyed. I don't want to leave. I want to use this ancient powerful relic. Corvax Simulation Terminal. Guys, what the heck is this thing? Oh, <laughs> oh, this is exciting. This has to obviously be a part of something to do with the new story, right? This is incredible. There's definitely no other option, is there? Oh, man. This has got me, like, this has got me all goose pimply. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> oh. What about, I've got to try all these doors now, haven't I? Nah, this one's locked. Jipper. Maybe they'll unlock one door per update. <laughs> oh, I've got to find out what that is. That was the simulation machine, I think. Oh, <laughs> guys. I need to know. I need to. Oh, we've got to progress the story. I'm so excited to find out what's going on. Like, I'm so intrigued to see how, like, what they've done with it, how they've done a story. And we didn't take our, we didn't take our tradition. We didn't take our first picture whenever we warp into a new system. So we better quickly grab it now. That's the rules, guys. Anyone who's new to the channel, and I know there are a lot of you right now, so welcome and thank you very much for being here. Uh, we always have a little tradition. Whenever we go to a new system, we always take a picture. Even if it's not very really good, even if it's pretty ugly looking, we always grab a quick snap just to commemorate the new system. Uh, what have we got over here? Undiscovered planet. Unmapped super critical planet. I don't know what that means. I've been to one before, but I can't remember what was there. I don't remember it being super pretty. Uh, oh, we should totally go and fly and check out the freighters with the new textures. Uh, but first, I want to see what kind of planets we're dealing with here. Undiscovered. Give it a scanner, Rooney. Bountiful planet. Yes, please. Oh, too close to the station. We are definitely going to this bountiful planet. That sounds exciting as hell. Uh, I want to go handy my mission thing first. Actually, that's that's good because it's on the way, right? Oh, this system looks beautiful. Like the green planet, like the green earthy looking planet there on the red background just looks so cool. Outright, oh, can we walk to this little space station now? I don't think we need to pause it. We're right there, right? Yeah, yeah, ten seconds away. Cool. We're gonna go to the space station because I want to handle my mission. I don't know if you need. I don't know if you guys are playing along. If you guys are already doing missions. If you guys are already way ahead of me, I wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, but I've never like this is our first mission that we've completed. So I want to go and hand it in and see if see like. I'm guessing we're just gonna get our little reward, right? But it'll be cool to do it together. Oh, oh, jibbery snapper. Oh, <laughs> uh, just ignore that. Smooth. <laughs> Oh gosh, that was pretty scary. I thought I broke the game for a second. I've had a couple like a couple of people have been complaining about bugs and stuff since the new update. Um, I don't know if that's like just a, a PC player thing, but I, I so far, I guess I'm not very far into it, right? But I've not experienced any anything really. I saw that amphibious creature, uh, an actual huge hound creature with a weird fin-like tail that ran into the ocean and, and like disappeared under the sea. That was awesome as hell. Uh, I assume that must have been a glitch, uh, but it was like the luckiest glitch ever because it looks so cool. <laughs> but that was like that's pretty much it. Like nothing at all glitch-wise for me, which is pretty cool. I shouldn't have said that, should I? Now, now that I said it. Okay, yep, jibber jibber jabbery. Yep, yep, yep. Give me my treasure, buddy boy. Hand in missions. Yeah, that's right. That is right. Which ones can we hand in? Uh, reward, reward, like, are they all done? I can handle this one, I'm sure. Yes. <clears throat> Impact damage, Sigma, thank you very much. I don't even have a bolt caster, buddy boy. 
uh, your standing with the callbacks has increased. Yeah, that's right, it has, because I'm a, the best eliminate sentinels. Hand that one in too. Oh okay, cool. So I'm going to hand all these in, and then we'll come back, because we've got to check out that Bountiful Planet before the episode ends. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're back, and here we go to Mawega Postum, the Bountiful Planet. I am super excited to see what Bountiful Planet actually means. Is it going to be just full of creatures but ugly? Is it going to be beautiful? Is it going to be luscious? Is it going to be forests? Is it going to be oceans? I've got no idea. It's not looking particularly pretty from here, is it, guys? It's looking very ghastly green. But let's drop down next to this nanite cruncher and see what we got. We got, we got true. Oh! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! We found a beautiful grass planet. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Oh, fantastic. This is the first time I've seen the grass in the new textures, and it looks awesome. <laughs> oh, this is nice. This looks like it could be a pretty nice one, guys. Oh, man. We've got to see. What did it say? What did it say about this place? Uh, please tell me there are creatures and stuff here. Please, 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 please. What have we got? Oh, there's no fauna, but there's occasional flora. Oh, jipper snapper. Man, we're definitely going to have to have a look around here. It looks super, super cool. I can't believe it. We finally found we found our first little grassy planet. It's not the best because there's no creatures. But it looks pretty damn beautiful anyway. And that's what matters, right? Beautiful. We all just want to see beautiful things, right? Hopefully, we'll find some beautiful creature ones too. But Wow. <laughs> it looks... There are like the open fields gone for ages and ages and ages. But there's still mountains and stuff. I like this a lot. This is really cool. We're definitely going to have a little bit of a look around here in the next one, I think. Uh, we probably won't stay too long, though, because, of course, there's no animals. And you guys know I'm a sucker for the little jippers. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully, you've enjoyed that one. As always, if you are enjoying the series, please do drop a like and a comment. That stuff really does help me out like crazy, and I appreciate it so much. But other than that, I'll catch you in the next one for some more No Man's Sky and our space adventures. Take care, guys. And peace.